on signs that you don't have a weight loss issue. It's literally just a broken metabolism. There's a big difference and that might be what's sabotaging you if you are attempting to lose weight, getting frustrated like a lot of people are. I'm going to give you 11 signs, but more importantly, I'm going to give you the four main things to fix this thing. Pay attention to number one of these four. I'm going to give you a specific training to tap into fat burning by fixing a broken metabolism. I experienced this myself, you know, midway through practicing as a doctor of having my own clinic, taking care of thousands of people. And I found that even though I was practicing good eating habits, cleaning up my nutrition and moving, I was actually having a lot of the signs that I'm going to be talking to you about right now. And I was putting on weight, even though I was doing healthy things. You ever been there? Are you there right now? Where you're doing healthy activities and you're just like, Ugh. No progress. In fact, I gained the weight. I'm struggling. I'm suffering. I'm going through keto. I'm starving myself. I'm doing this and I gained? What the heck's going on? Here's the keys to know that it's just a broken metabolism. And then I found the secret to unlocking that. I had to level my metabolism back out and I had to nurture it back to health. It was like watering a plant and giving it new soil. I had to kind of uproot some things. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go through the 11 signs first though. Welcome to the doc's office. I'm Dr. Living Good. Number one, some nausea. Your food's just not digesting well and you start to notice nausea even maybe after a normal meal or even you're eating healthy things. Sometimes I got this when I was overeating protein and I just didn't feel the greatest. So that led to number two, if you have a lot of gas going on in the system, the body's not breaking that down. The metabolism is taking food, you know, but what metabolism does, taking food, breaking it down, absorbing it and using it as nutrients. It's the processing of food for energy. And you're producing a lot of byproduct with gas, with nausea, it leads to bloating. If there is bloating involved, more than likely metabolism is broken. The thing needs to be reset. Your libido goes down because it starts to draw more energy. The digestive system is working so hard processing the food, making you nausea, making you gassy, making you bloated. Stuff's not digesting very well and it's drawing so much extra energy that it's depleting your hormones. Your hormones aren't able to use to build and help you grow and thrive and build new muscle and it starts to impact your libido. Your sex drive will go down and your partners will. Low libido. Next, heartburn, acid reflux. Stuff just starts backing up in there and then now we have imbalances with how everything is getting absorbed, the body's not producing the right amount of acid or it's producing too much acid, heartburn and acid reflux, big warning sign, broken metabolisms, cravings go up. I get this all the time. You're just every bit of willpower each day to struggle through your new diet plan or your program or your weight loss regimen and you're just craving stuff. Metabolism is broken, the metabolism is busted. It's not satisfied, the body is, kind of revolting out. Now there can be some underlying candida and microbe issues. We're not going to get into that here, but you can check out other videos on my channel to make sure you can do that. But of the first six, what's the major one for you? Does anything pop out? My gosh, that's what I have. Maybe my metabolism's just broken. And you might think it's very similar. It's like, well, yeah, broken metabolism, can't lose weight. But there's a big difference between just losing weight and making lighter caskets and actually fixing the mechanism of your metabolism in your body. Let's go to the next five. Loss of muscle where you feel like you're, you may be losing some of the fat, but the muscle's going right with it. The body's not maintaining healthy tissue. Muscle may, weighs way more versus the size of it. So size of muscle weighing one pound, size of fat weighing one pound. So the scale may not move. We want inches to move and we want to be leaner, more leaner body tissue provides more oxygen. Cancer can't survive in an oxygen environment. So, but if you're losing muscle, metabolism is broken. It's metabolizing your muscle in the process. We want to try to prevent that. Poor sleep, waking up a lot, interrupted. If you don't have a measurer for this, you may get some kind of wearable to chart your sleep to see how often are you waking up during the night? How restful is it? You might be sleeping and your eyes are closed, but you're not actually getting good rest. That metabolism, which does crank up at night to heal you, to process you, to absorb all those nutrients is not going well and it might be waking you up. Mood swings, big one. A lot of your happy hormones are made in your gut. So if we're not processing food properly, a big warning sign of it is you're not efficiently burning the nutrients. You're not efficiently absorbing it. You're not producing the serotonins of the world for your mental health. So you get these mood swings. Weight gain, this is an obvious one. Metabolism is broken. But this is especially important if you are trying and attempting to lose weight and you are gaining inadvertently. Metabolism is broken. Finally, your sleep time is low. 
You're going to bed, you're stressing. Cortisol is a big player of this. Cortisol produces belly fat. Cortisol works against the metabolism. Cortisol enhances more insulin inside the body, which is not what we want. We want to get that thing down. Speaking of insulin, therein lies the key to how do we actually fix all of this. So there's your warning signs of it. Is the metabolism broken? Give a yes in the comment if yes, you are dealing with a couple of these and it's starting to make sense that my metabolism is just off. It needs to be reset. It needs to be nurtured back to the way it's supposed to be. The fastest, best method that I know how to possibly do this is rotational fasting. I put a guide down below for you in the comments of how to do this, but this is what nurtured mine back to health, where I slowly started to build my metabolism back up, but I had to start at a very basic level that I felt like was going backwards. Before you just go jump into intermittent fasting, before you go just jump into full on fasting, before you just go jump into keto and paleo and fail at yet another diet or program, Focus on resetting your body's ability to process food, absorb the nutrients. Rotational fasting does that. You slowly allow your body to curb consumption and reset itself. You don't shock the system. So at first, we kind of want to just get it into a steady rhythm of eating nutrients and then slowly back it off. That's how you heal insulin. Insulin in turn, then when it is in check, your metabolism is going to be in check. Number two, to fix these two issues. If you had less sleep time or interrupted sleep, we got to focus on increasing that. So this looks like winding down and giving your body an hour to calm down at the end of the day. Ebbs and salt baths are a really great way to do this. You're getting your stresses out of the way. You're making sure you're not staring at your phone, getting your insulin or your, excuse me, your cortisol amped up before bedtime. You want to turn down the temperature in the house. There are nine hacks for sleep inside the Living Your Daily Book. You can grab one of those below for free. Okay. Now next, walk more. This is gonna stimulate healthy metabolism, but it's not strenuous cardio. So you wanna go for more walks. I do this a lot. If I have a phone call I need to take, I start walking. If I have a meeting I need to do that's virtual in today's world, I start walking. I find every opportunity that I would just be sitting there doing something that I could actually do while I'm walking, try that hack, walk more, move more. And then finally, apple cider vinegar has been shown to control that insulin. So during a period of time in the training that you'll see during a six to 12 week period of time, you can correct a lot of these issues and you can level out that metabolism and get it amplified. I would add apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons twice a day in the morning, in the evening, during that period of time. You don't need to do that forever, but it's gonna help support controlling the insulin level Insulin is the bully that's driving the broken metabolism that is causing these issues. So if you have one of these, that's where to go. Check out that training below and then more videos on how to do this. Subscribe to the channel. Going to help you make health simple. I've been there. We're in this together. I'm never going to tell you to do something that I'm not doing. So check out the next videos here and make sure to check out that training below.